Yes, good afternoon. So it's Wednesday, March 15th, 2023. <clears throat> hope everybody's having a productive, solid day. Whatever you're doing, hope you're productive, hope you're solid. Just want to bring some news. So Silicon Valley, Signature Bank, had their financial woes within the last 72 hours. Um, individuals couldn't get their deposits. Individuals couldn't get their money. Now it's reported that that. The federal government, as I suspected, as I thought, there's some plans and some small plans to bail them out. Um, and they've ensured that everyone who kept money in the bank, who has money and assets in those banks, will get their money back. Now, moving forward to today, this morning, Swiss National, Swiss National Bank will provide Credit Swiss financial support if necessary. So Credit, Credit Swiss is the next bank that had some issues now it's reported that they're not in immediate danger but the stability of the bank remains in question this is a developing story so right now it's it's a, it's reported that there's an uncertainty about bank stability in the wake of the silicon valley bank collapse so out here i'm going to read some stuff and, and let you guys know what's going on for those that don't know what's going on so new fears for the stability of the global financial system rattled markets on Wednesday. The stock market plunged for those that are investors in the stock market. We know that the stock market is, is unstable. I'm not saying don't invest in the stock market because I have stocks. But the stock market is, is, is like an emotional roller coaster. And I like to call the stock market bipolar. It's up, it's down, it's up, it's down, up, it's down, up and down. If that's something that you can't handle, I would, not, I would never recommend investing in stocks. Because they're very, very volatile. Now, shares of Credit Suisse were down more than 20% on today's news. I think the stock itself is a little bit over two, under three dollars a share, and the Dow Jones was down nearly two percent. So, Swiss Bank's largest investor, Saudi National Bank, signaled on Wednesday that it would not be rushing in with more cash to help buttress the firm. So, this is big because the Saudi National Bank. They're saying, as of right now, they're not going to bail them out. They're not going to bail out a bank that, for whatever reason, was unable to have stability within their funds. And they're taking funds from customers, lending it out, doing business with different entities that you may or may not know about, and not being responsible with their funds. And in most cases, the government bails these banks out which is a big problem in society because they bail these banks out, they bail the CEOs out, and the customers always get the short end of the stick. That's why it's very important. They're already giving you a hint, even though that's going to be questioned as well. If your only FDIC is short up to a quarter of a million dollars, why would you even put over that inside a bank? That's something I do not understand. Never put all your eggs in one basket. Ecclesiastes 11.2 tells us that for all believers. Diver diversify your funds. I mean, the banking system, you know, you have to use wisdom, you have to use discernment, you have to use sound judgment. But sometimes having 60000 in the bank is like, whoa, that can be a question. But anyway, the, for, the, for the most part, the point is, is that a quarter of only a quarter of a million dollars is insured in a particular in any bank that you use that you do business with. Now, for years, they've had trouble. Credit Suisse, they've had a host of problems for a number of years, and now, since they're since uh, the Swiss bank is integrated with the global financial system. Their problems are not as big as Swiss National Bank. So now there's a lot of stuff going on with Swiss National Bank. They are um, currently they are working to address the problems that's going on in the bank. And now they're going to have to use other significant resources to stabilize the bank and keep the bank operating. So this is a wake up call, guys. You have Swiss, you have Swiss Bank, you have Credit Swiss, 
I'm sorry, you have Credit Suisse, you have Silicon Valley Bank, and you have Signature Bank. All within since Sunday. And today's Wednesday. So that's Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. It's a four day period with three banks have had major issues in funding. Major issues where the they ran out of money or whatever they're gonna tell you in the news, whatever they're gonna report. The powers that be and the major players, they understand, they know what's going on. They're liquidating their assets. The CEOs are liquidating their assets. The CEOs know that they're gonna get bailed out regardless of what happens. Banks always get bailed out by governments. There's a lot, of, and why that is, we can go through it all, we can spend a number of minutes addressing that issue. But the point is, for us, we have to be intelligent, we have to be wise. Not a financial advisor, but number one, you should you shouldn't even put a quarter of, over a quarter of a million dollars into one bank. I mean, when I hear stories like somebody put three million dollars or four million dollars, I mean that just doesn't make any sense. And number two, don't put all of your money in that bank. You have to diversify your assets. You must diversify and treat diversification as brushing your teeth, combing your hair. Drinking water, putting on deodorant, you must put investing right up there. You, you must treat it as such because the times that we live in, live in, it's only going to get worse. It's not about doom and gloom. It's about being real, so that you can protect your family and, and do do great things. If you're of the kingdom, so you can expand your resources. You, you can do kingdom business, whatever you're called to do. You need resources to do that. But if, you, if we put our resources in the wrong places, then we're going to lose them. Then we're going to be scrambling. And then we're going to be like, what happened? And these are for, these are for people that are paying attention. Like for those that are not paying attention, I, I, don't, I don't really have much to say if, if you're distracted by other things that are just not important to your life. Or it's not going to add any value to your life. You have to keep things in perspective. Um, but nevertheless... Credit Suisse is the third bank to have some serious, serious issues. It's a 167-year-old bank, and it was originally founded to finance the expansion of the Swiss Railroad. So they've been around for 167 years. But this is the year where it's going to be a ripple effect. It's not going to stop at three. So we just have to be prepared. You have to pay attention. You have to use use sound judgment. Get with people that are going to help you, and not uh, take you down the wrong route. That's the that's the key thing. You have to get with people that's going to help you, and their heads are not in the clouds and not asleep. You have to get with people that are going to assist you in moving and helping you move your life forward and working as a team. And you're going to have to start your own bank at some point. So, I have my information down below. If you would like to start your own central bank and build your own financial foundation, and it's optional to you, you know, we're not asking you, we're not begging you, that we're not in the business of doing none of that. But if you look at my information below, you will see and you can gather the information and make a healthy decision for yourself. Um, all I can really say at this point is, is you sound judgment, stay wise, stay cool, um, drink a lot of water, pray. Um, stay focused. Don't get caught up with distractions. There's distractions all over the place. And be less concerned about uh, minutia, things that do not matter to your life and keep things in perspective. Uh, it's all right to have some downtime, relax, take a deep breath, and do what you need to do. But just don't get distracted over things that don't matter. Don't spend 20 minutes or 30 minutes on the latest gossip on who's doing what. Who's doing this? That I mean, honestly, that stuff does not matter in the big scheme of things. It's about what are you doing? What are you doing to have a firm foundation in your household? And what are you doing to get your house in order so that not only your family is taken care of, but you're able to be a resource and able to be a vessel to others in time of need because there are going to be people that are going to be needing 
our help as we move forward, as things get worse and worse. The governments, they don't have a clue. They don't want to have a clue. And it's up to us. So on that note, click on, click on, look at the information below. And I'll be seeing you soon with more and more information and updating you on what's going on on this wild, crazy world, crazy economic system that we're in the middle of. And remember, there's people that have benefited from these times. So a recession is not the way we think a recession is. Money doesn't disappear. It just exchanges hands. Money never disappears. It just exchanges hands. And those that are prepared, those that have planted their foot on preparing, that's the key word, preparing and making sacrifices, everybody's level of sacrifice is going to be different. So I can't determine what my sacrifice is going to be. It's going to be, is it going to be the same level of sacrifice yours is going to be? But preparation is key. Preparation, preparation, preparation. Never keep all your eggs in one basket. Your mighty, mighty King Solomon told us this. Peace, and I'll get back to you later or soon with more information as it comes.